Hello everyone. So the next concept which we are going to discuss is called dependency injection. And to explain this concept, I'm going to take a very common example which most of you have came across. So assume there is a class A and there is a class B. Class A wants to access the member which is present inside the class B. So the simplest approach is to create the object of class B inside the class A and use the variable as well as the method which are being exposed by the class B. So in this scenario, class A depends on the class B for its own calculation. Now in case of dependency injection, the framework will take care of creating the object and providing it to the dependent class. So in this case, the framework will automatically create the object of class B and provide it to the class A for its utilization. So in case of dependency injection, first the framework will create the object which is called dependency and provide it, provide it to the class A which is called injection. So there are two steps which will be going on in case of dependency injection. That is creating the dependency and injecting it to the dependent class. In Cucumber framework, the Pico container is used for dependency injection and there are different types of dependency injection in which we are going to discuss about the constructor injection. 